Hello everyone, this section is going to cover, cover double angle formulas, section 7.3, the second section in chapter 7. So you're going to want to make sure you go ahead and get this chart down. Again, it is included in the PowerPoint, so if it's blurry here, you can just go to the PowerPoint and copy it down there. Uh, I'm not asking you to memorize it, just like in the previous section. Um, so as long as you have it down and you can manipulate it, you are good. Since they will give it to you on the final, that is on the reference sheet. So first thing they want to do, they tell us uh, cosine of x equals negative 2 thirds, where in the second quadrant, they want us to find cosine of 2x and sine of 2x. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do, to find cosine of 2x, that is, if you go back and look at your reference sheet or go back and look at the equations, 2 times cosine squared of x minus 1, which is 2 times negative 2 thirds squared minus 1, and that gives us 2 times 4 ninths minus 1, which overall gives us 8 ninths minus 1 for an answer of negative 1 ninth, right? I just turned 1 into 9 over 9, that'd be 1, and 8 minus 9 over 9 is a negative 1 ninth. So that is our cosine of 2x, right? They wanted us to find our cosine of 2x, and they want us to find our sine of 2x. Um, but in order to find sine of 2x, I have to find sine of x. So those Pythagorean identities haven't gone away. We still need them from chapter 5. And so to find sine of x, uh, I'll just do it here. We have uh, sine, or cosine squared of x plus sine squared x equals 1. Plug in for cosine squared. We know cosine to be uh, negative 2 thirds. And negative 2 thirds squared we found before to be 4 ninths. Subtract 4 ninths from both sides. You get sine squared x equals uh, 5 ninths, you do 9 ninths minus 4 ninths, and when you take the square root, you get sine of x equals radical 5 over 3. So now that we know what sine of x is equal to, we can go ahead and solve for sine of 2x, which is what they wanted in the beginning. So sine of 2x is equal to, that equation is 2 times sine of x cosine of x. Since I know now what uh, sine of x is, I already knew what cosine of x is, I just plug in. Sine of x is radical 5 over 3. And it's positive, right? Because in the second quadrant, my sine value is going to be positive. And I multiply that by negative 2 thirds. For an answer of, let's see, I get 4 radical 5 over 9. And that's negative since I have just the one negative value. Okay, so I found sine of 2x, cosine of 2x, double angle formulas. Next, we need to find sine of 2x, cosine of 2x, and tangent of 2x from this given information. So we know we're in quadrant 2. Um, I'm going to draw a triangle in quadrant 2. And since tangent is opposite over adjacent, we should have learned that, so opposite over adjacent, so opposite over adjacent. And if you go ahead and do Pythagorean theorem, you'll uh, determine that the uh, hypotenuse is five, right? And this is technically our negative three because we're in the second quadrant. If you want to think of your axes like this. So my three is the negative value. My four is the positive value, giving me negative four thirds for my tangent with my angle right here. So now, if I, now I can find sine, cosine, and then plug those into the sine and cosine double angle formulas to find these uh, given values. So let's start off with sine 2x is equal to 2 times sine x cosine x. We know sine x is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 2 times 4 fifths, right? The opposite side over the hypotenuse times. Uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, negative 3 fifths. So we go ahead and do that, multiply straight across, we get 24 25 fifths. 
negative. Second value they want us to find was cosine of 2x. So cosine of 2x is cosine squared x. Cosine squared x and uh, minus sine squared x. Or if you only know cosine, you can do this one here. So you can use any one of these three. I'm going to use cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x because I know them both. Okay, so I know cosine to be negative 3 fifths. I know sine to be 4 fifths. So when I square these, I get positive 9 20 fifths minus positive 16 20 fifths, which gives me an overall answer of negative 7 20 fifths. And that's the cosine of 2x. Finally, we've got to find the tangent of 2x. And they told us, remember, that the tangent of x is equal to negative 4 thirds. So I'll go ahead, tangent of 2x is 2 times tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent squared of x. Now I'll go ahead, now I'll go ahead and plug in what I know. I know the tangent of x is negative 4 thirds. I know the tangent of x is negative 4 thirds. Then they square that in the tangent double angle formula. Multiply straight across, I get negative 8 over 3 over 1 minus. If I square this, I get a positive 16 ninths. Continue on simplifying. I get a negative 8 thirds over, so that would be 9 ninths minus 16 ninths gives me a negative 7 ninths. And yep, everything checks. Then I just flip and multiply, so I end up getting negative 8 thirds times 9, negative 9 sevenths equals 72 over 21. That's as far as I can go because that won't simplify any further. And one more. They want us to simplify this uh, using the double angle formula. So since we know sine squared of x minus, I'm sorry, cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x is equal to, we know that this is equal to cosine of 2x. Well, I know x is 51, so that gives me a cosine of 2 times 51. I'll put this all in parentheses. So this value here is the same as cosine of 102. And I do the same thing over here. I know that this is cosine of 2 times x. In this case, I know my x to be 3 theta, so 3 times whatever that angle may be. So I just go ahead and plug that straight in, and I get cosine of 2 times 3 theta, so that's cosine of 6 theta. So go ahead and try the example problems I've given you in the PowerPoint. Uh, the answers are again at the end of the PowerPoint, and then do the practice problems that accompany this PowerPoint.